I'm gonna kill you, Godzilla. Oh. Please have mercy. Oh, thank God he's leaving. Oh, I squish big bug. How's it Godzilla fans, Kaiju fans, collectors, and just general people of YouTube? This is Chanzilla 1964 coming back to you with another video. Um, this time the video is going to be a um, short, short unboxing. And it's also going to go over how I made the um, my 6 inch um, scaled anyways, Fimo Mutsu figure. But before we get to that, let's go see what's in the box because it's going to help us with um, our explanation here. Because in the box I found a great deal on eBay, and that deal was for the um, Godzilla 2014. Okay, they're in bubble wrap. That's a lot of bubble wrap. Um, anyways, they're in the, it's the um, Godzilla 2014 Bandai figures with Godzilla 2014 over here, and the male Munzo figure from Bandai. So, yeah. So I got it for a pretty, pretty good deal. And um, so long story short, this was the figure that I used to um, obviously make this figure. Because they're, as you can see, it's pretty much the same figure. And yeah. Let's see what I can do with this here. I got the Muto mom, Muto dad, and you got the little Muto um, son. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, though, to explain kind of how um, I made this figure over here, um, what I did was I had gotten two of these guys. So two Muto or male Muto figures from the Bandai Movie Monster series line. And then don't have to do anything with the um, this arm. Yeah, don't have to do anything with this arm because it's um, should be okay. Or actually, no. What? I, okay, yeah. So what I did was looking at this guy now. I'm remembering. It's all coming back to me. Um, I had it pretty much start off by cutting off the wings over here because these wings are glue sealed in, and they are stuck on there pretty good. So what I had to do was I had to take um, my scalp ladder, move the wings over here be very careful not to um cut into the back of the, the sides of the figure over here and the arms don't cut off the arms so it'd be a good idea to take off the arms before you cut into the wings but after you cut in the wings there's going to be um an empty space over here an empty space over here so yeah where the wings are it's going to be hollow um so what you want to do is you want to cut a hole that will kind of fit the arm over here into this side, this area of the Muto figure. And then this very, very back part right here where it meets the wing. Yeah, because over here, I believe there was a um, actually funny, funny thing is that there's actually a joint um, hole, but that's where they plugged the wing in when they glued it in. So yeah, we have to remove that part out. And then that's where the second arm from the um, old Mutsu would go, from the second Mutsu you have. Because pretty much you're just using the body from the first Mutsu and the arms from the second one. But if you are willing to make a second set of arms by molding them or 3D printing them, um, then that may be a good route to go to. Because you could honestly keep the, these arms and just remove this part over here, put the um, 
new arms, or like I said, right here where the where this ridge is over here. That's where the new arms would go. And then after that's all done, seal it up with whatever pup putty or um, sculpt, sculpt um, putty. I guess they do have around laying around. Um, that works with plastic really well. And then um, afterwards, paint. You would paint them like I did over here. You would have to paint the Mudo figure. Um, and then pretty much it. You got this. You got the female Mudo figure. Now, I wish I could show you guys, but I don't ever plan on destroying a third um, male Mudo figure. So, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this guy um, as he is. But I just forgot to give you guys the general breakdown. That's how you would make the male Muto figure. Anyways, I hope you guys like this kind of explanation video. I know I've seen a few comments from back with the um, Bandai Muto reviews. They are like, oh, how did you make the female Muto? It would be great if I did a um, tutorial video. I know this is a necessary tutorial video, but it's kind of an explanation video as to how you could do it. Um, also to give you ideas because this I mean, I think I did more work than I was than I had to with this figure um, Which is totally fine with me Personally um, But if someone has a better idea in mind as to how to make the female Muto figure that'd be good Because yeah, like I said, there's all this putty here and then I ended up filling in where the old arm used to be this arm um, And I replaced that with these and I moved the arms up instead of leaving this arm down here, which I'm pretty sure you could get away with it, but it's also a matter of like um, accuracy wise, because I know the female Mudo's arms are just always, they're lined up, manner of speaking. Um, but yeah. So yeah. If you have any questions though, um, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I can answer them in the next video or something and i hope you guys like this video if you guys did like this video though be sure to hit the thumbs up down below and if you guys like what you see on this channel be sure to hit the subscribe button and that does it for this video today guys this has been chanza 1964 um this time with a tutorial figure custom tutorial actually first i guess technical tutorial um but yeah till next time peace peace